All right, so my guys, <coughs> it's your boy the Dragon Age PD, and uh, so yeah, as you can see from like last time when we had that cutscene playing of Darkner Hylis, we can now see him on the beginning screen. So that's dope, I guess. So let's um, start this bitch up. Let's uh, go where we where we've been the last stuff. Yeah, we already killed those fuckers, so that's irrelevant. So let's get into the mine, or whatever this is. The military base, I mean. Wait. Let me check, is it even recording? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it is, it is. Oof, I forgot. This base has poison gas. Let me get a brief mask. Oh yeah. We need him. This arm of mine isn't just for show, General. Stand back. But why are you doing it with your right arm? Oh, never mind. The Zerka mercenaries were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these. After you. Oh, wow. He wasn't even moving his uh, face. Okay. Ah, oh, that Zerka. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well, this was this is quite easy. Now oh, let's check the terminal. Slice into security terminal. Slice into oh, wow. they don't work. That's always nice to have. Oh yeah. to use him. Hmm, yeah. That's what I thought. I thought Adam say the word. could have died, but you know. He is a survivor, so. Just say the word. Let's go. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, wait. of course they have this type of weapon. Oh, but I can still hurt them. Oh yeah, boy. Level up. Skills. Let's see, what should I give him? Shooting you flaming. Except. Oh, hell yeah. I think we can really use that. ID card. Yep. That's what I thought. 
Oh, that's a lot of them. So let's go forward now. <sighs> What's this? It's an armor. But what is it? That looks sick. But um, can't use my force powers. Which is a bit of a shame. I'm defense bonus four. It's a light armor. Shit! I thought it would be more. You know. Does not restrict use of force power. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it's just um, my force points or whatever it's called again being depleted. Okay, but it's cool. Let's go. It's actually like a, I don't know, a Jedi armor. Right, let's level him up. Wait, let let's give him some more. Well, I guess not then. Treat injury. Always handy. Security. And computer use. So this, this armor actually looks sick. Hell yeah. I'm down for this. I think we can. Well, I guess. I guess we'll just find it. Just say Let me level this this boy up. I'm a specialist. Let's see. Persuade. It's something I can really use. So what? let's not use everything on it. Repair. Powers. Uh -huh. I already got that. So now let's get Stasis or what's what they recommend for screen. I don't want that shit. What's this improved for screen? You know what? For this time, I'll just take it because why not? No, so I'm really getting the feeling that this. It's better than I first had. Where would that came from? I'm, I'm taking less damage. The good thing is, they're all forcing or focusing fire on me. So that's a good sign. Let's go. Oh hell yeah! So this is the there shuttle. She is one orbital shuttle. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. That's all a moot point, though. Why is the that? The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't fancy flying the shuttle through solid metal, so I'd say we need to find a way to get them open. We'll also need to find the ignition codes for the shuttle, or else we'll have some trouble getting off the ground. If we get all that, I wouldn't worry about what shape this heap is in. I'll get it running. Alright then. So 
so let's see what we have to do. Wait, let me first heal up. Yo, he looks actually pretty buff in these spells. Yeah? Yes. Let's get the lockers open. Oh, advanced mod pack. That's something I can use. A Chani heavy armor. Concussion grenade and some uh, stamina thing things. So let's give him the heavy armor. Oh, he can't. Shit. But I'm just I'm curious. Can he wear it? No, not yet. So next time leveling these boys up, I'll focus on them, um, getting them uh, better army armor feats. Because he's got medium, but but he might need better. So you know, look behind your doors. No. So. Oh yeah, I need to activate the reactor. So that is going to be something, for sure. And I'm pretty sure there will be droid in one of these hallways. Yep. And another one? No. Ah, uh, it's sealed. Or no, I'm retarded. It's not sealed. So what now? So no one's right there. Nope. It's only one lonely droid. Dead. Oh hell! Yeah. Uh no, I'm not. He looks like the, the Zabalik or whatever. He looks like the Twilight from Psychedel Station. Follow me out. Why not? I hope he doesn't. Because I... You know, I just hope he doesn't die. In the progress. Can't I give him something to defend himself with? That would be way better. Ah shit, I don't have any mines with me. What's going on? This is too tough for me. Well, I thought I thought he was a you know very smart person. Apparently he's not. Let's uh, go. We need this dude for this shit, so. Any droids in here? Yeah. Two even. How do you like that? How you like that? Can you fix up? Where would that came from? Wait, what? So this... Oh, wow. Well. It looked for a minute that he, like, fell over. Holy fuck. Let me put a shield in for a I'd want to continue the walk since I think the reactor core is way ahead of us. Well, but yeah. we first need Beyadur. He's looking, you know. I don't want to fight, you know. 
military sub level. This door is magnetically sealed. Ah oh, shit. What if I could open it? That would be pretty interesting what there would be in there. If there would be something in there. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, um... Okay. What's going on? I think it's pretty dangerous to have, you know, that twilight walking around, but who cares? You probably die anyway, so... Hmm... I think, I think yeah. these turrets might be become a problem. Because I bet they're gonna get turned on when I uh, turn on the reactor, because I assume that's my... Uh, yep. That is my objective here. Oh shit. Oh fuck, that is like a, a big ass version of it. Door is down. Let me save for a minute. See, no need for uh, for all these powers. Can I speak with it? Nope, I can't. Would be cool if I could activate it and use it for myself. Wait, let me just... Is Beadour with us? Yep, he is. That's enough. So, on? let's activate shield. So, oh wait, could I open this? There's a HK unit over here. Repair. Repair the droid to follow me. Oh, this is cool. So I actually got a droid with me now. But um, oh, but um, yep. Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that, but who cares? He did he did no damage at all. So so let's see. Um, is there any terminal here? Nope. But there's a terminal over there. So overload direct which that kind of hurt my ears. Sherpa defense apartments. Oh yes, jack jackpot. Oh data bed. This data bed contains the ignition code. Oh hell yeah. So, what way sh should I run? This way, this way, right? Or not? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's this way. So here's the shadow, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure um, we're gonna die. But <laughs> who cares? Because uh, the big robot is alive. And your doors unlocked. But he's stuck, as you can see, so. Wait, let's see what I can do on my own for a minute. Can the droid see me? Yep. 
Yep, he actually can. Not at this time. That's smart. No, you. Let's throw a nade. might actually have to run away because I'm going to have to get crew for this let's get this one let's pull my shield on let's see that wait a minute and let's turn on solo mode off and let's go fight them with the group. Come on, guys. Come on. My sword ain't gonna do shit to it. I should get my gun. I'm gonna run away from it. Shit, he's actually almost there. Just say the word. I'm just, you know, trying to recharge my force powers. Time to take you down to size. Time to take you down to size. Yeah, that worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> Wait, let me see. I need to see the... That's many. That's a lot of data thefts. Um, circa defensive. What do they give? Defense bonus. This. Because you know... I also got a heal up, if I'm being honest. What if I walk over here? Do I still see the right? Nope, I don't. Security control? Nope, nothing out of it. I think the force, force lightning will kill the droid. Get you did on. So I want them to heal up you know, because I have the feeling that after we get on the shuttle we'll uh, pretty much that will pretty much get attacked, so you know. So can I remove him? Yes, I can. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna run away, I guess. Because... I'm pretty sure there will be an exit. Wherever we'll... Uh, yes, take the shot. Now we'll get a cutscene. I wish the cutscenes were in a higher quality. Statement. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. 
Are you likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here? The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield Let network. Fucking HQ However, units. the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, what's that? Is that a rocket launcher? Oh well. What is it doing? Did it crash? Are you kidding me? It crashed, didn't it? <coughs> Fuck. What? It crashed. So not only the ship crashed, but also the game crashed. That's ironic. Oh well, guys. I'll see if I can fix this. So, guys, I'm here again and I managed to fix it. So, let's continue where we were. God damn. So, as you as you saw in the <laughs> in the cutscene that crashed my game, we got sh shut down by a rocket launcher. Now, uh, yeah, we're, we're basically shut down and now we're, you know, I don't know, I see that the shadows are glitching out. Irritated declaration. There, quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communication. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. Any reason why you shut down my vessel? Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the Polar Telos irrigation system. There is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. How many of you, how many of you are there? Chiding statement, oh Jedi. There are as many of us as are needed to capture or kill our targets. Egotistical boast. And there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. Unnecessary threat. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies. If you want to fight, then come on. But, um, I'm sorry, but I thought I kind of voted to remove them, but okay. No, that's... Yep, that's what I thought. Let's go. Well, they're dying, so rip them. <laughs> I'm not feeling like fighting droids right now. I want to spare my time. <laughs> We mean no harm. It's true, right? So. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? 
I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop. 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 Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. Oof. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejarik can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery No, one. right now, kind of. Your thought's difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship. And the force <laughs> is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here. And it must be met before the future can be set in motion. More Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. Ooh. The critical moment approaches. Spoken like a wise person. <laughs> so for me, this is probably one of the most interesting parts. I did not expect to see you again the after game. the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? <laughs> my slaves and my ship return. It was not my intention to come here, Atris, or see you again. If you think I wanted to see your face again, you are sadly mistaken. 
I'm leave I'm looking for my ship so I can leave Telux. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you're admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. The destruction of Paragus was an accident. Oh, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Yeah, I destroyed two worlds with one explosion. No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Paragus was nothing compared to what I'll do if you don't get back my ship. What do you mean? Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. Hmm. Intelligence. It's almost as bad as the Jedi letting the Outer Rim die during the Mandalorian Wars. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. So now I get blamed for the actions of the Sith. Sith? What do you mean? The Sith have returned and they are hunting all Jedi. You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. Tell me, where did you encounter them? The Sith came for me and if she sees my ship, you know I wasn't, huh? Well, I... Paragus? What would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. The Sith believed me to be the last Jedi. Oh, you? If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. I did not think I was followed. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. No argument here. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove him, mistress. Oh yeah, sure, go suck her dick even more. Come with if us. If she has one. Alright, let me see. Are you alright, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachment. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy, and the feelings of others, can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired, I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Alright then. See, this, this is why I like this part the most. It got, like, very good dialogue and shit. Alright, I got even more Sith points. I just wanted to take a screenshot really quick. Hmm, 
interesting. So where should I go? Let me ask one of those people. You are the exile. The one Atris warned us about. Yeah, no shit. Uh, she was right. You're lucky I don't kill you. <laughs> what did Atris say? She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Okay, cool. Oh. Uh, I went to war to protect her. Others oh, not to fight. Go in war. Oh. That is not all, she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. What the dark side? I do not walk the path of the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. So that does explain why I stopped fighting after the Mandalorian Wars. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them because you had fallen so far you could no longer feel the Force. The Force aside, I was. The Force aside, I was tempted to attack the Jedi, but I didn't. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. <laughs> Did Ada say anything else? That is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Uh, expressed feelings? Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Oh, wow, that's, ve that's very interesting. What do you think Atris heart Without says? Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline reduced to movement and motion. Oh, wow. Well, that's... Hmm. Oh, all right. I don't really know what to think of that, if I'm being really honest. Well, I'll have no wish to fight Atris. Then her expressed feelings will have to suffice. Then that might make the truth come out. Perhaps. It may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. Oh well. Uh... I would like to ask you something. <laughs> Why does Atreus allow me to walk freely? I could kill you all easily. You look different than other women. I women honor there. the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. Never mind, I'll be going. Uh, never mind, I'll be going. Uh, let me ask you something else. I apologize, I meant no offense. There's no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. Never mind, Before I'll be you going. go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? I only know what what its loss feels like. Then tell me of its absence. Imagine awaking and find, finding all your senses blind. It is standing atop the summit of a great mountain, oh, hell. the winds Shit. tearing about you, then finding yourself buried alive, trapped. Oh yeah, because of their bond together. I see. Thank you, Exile. It was my pleasure. Let's see if I can talk with another person. Here. No. Why have you approached me? The Eminem, where is Your it? Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atrus has given you permission to leave this place. Yeah, no shit. 
good good of you telling me that she gave she, that she gave me permission. So this is the the fighting place. I don't fucking know what this is. Hmm. Did you find what you came for? That, that uh, a woman from my past has made her place home. I did not expect to see her again. I felt as much, quite strongly, in fact. I suspected there was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. The one here is a Jedi, Atrus, one of the clones. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atrus, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. I'm curious why you keep saying, curious. Look, we need to live, so let's go. She means me harm, I may have to kill her. <laughs> Killing such a one could prove difficult and unwise. <laughs> Yet, she distracts you, that is clear, and that may be reason enough. Such distractions could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Let's just leave. Very well, let us depart. Uh. Is Adam okay? He looks out cold. He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. Yeah, sure. He can sleep on the ship, let's go. Consciousness in the crash. There's nothing to apologize for. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? Uh, a Jedi Academy, concealed from another pole. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide. Like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. This will be your new home if you want to slow me down. Are you well enough to I travel? I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Just go to the ship and we'll deal with <laughs> Meet me at the ship and prep it for launch. We're leaving as soon as we can. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid. Says you. Chief Free, are you alright? It wasn't your fault they took the ship. Hold on, what information are you talking about? Why would you want in your... You can fill me in later, let me get you out of there first. We'll see you at the Ebonhawk. So basically guys, I am... Uh, you noticed that it was a bit quiet a few minutes ago, but uh, I, I asked in the Discord of my uh, YouTube channel if I should keep keep it light-sided or dark-sided, because honestly, I like dark-sided more. I hear you. And um, holy shit, that looks nice. And um, so basically. Now I got more votes for dark side than light side. So you already see me hint towards the dark side because I said maybe we should kill her. So after this video, I will try. I will try to do the the, the story dark side. And why do I say try? 
Well, <laughs> uh, he's, he's pretty far to the light side. So, you know. I hear you. It may be pretty hard. I hear you. To uh, get him that, that low, you know, level wise. So, we'll see if we can do that. Oh hell yeah, the Ebonhawk, one of my most favorite ships, you know, of Star Wars. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me. But I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her That's if we can. Rip. But we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted. And isolation from it would have been no defense. That's a rip. Oh, what's this? This is a cutscene, isn't it? Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. <laughs> what? What's with T3? So yeah, I'm just gonna skip in because you know. So no, I didn't catch the first part. You downloaded Atris Archives. What is the machine saying? He said there was a holo record of my trial in Atris Records. We seem to have found it. Oh, that's interesting. So we're gonna see how his lightsaber got taken away, I guess. Oh, that suit actually looks good. So those are like Do you know Jedi why we masters. Have you here? I came because I chose you, not because you summoned me. You have called me here to answer for my crimes. Whatever means to speak to them. Speak them or let me go. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan That's the your mistake master you make. now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? I realized that following Revan to war was a violation of the Jedi Code, and I broke it, knowingly defying the wishes of the Council. The truth is, the Mandalorian Wars had to be stopped, or Count Less More would have died. You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself to the galaxy. Ah, shut the fuck You up. are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. You know, you know they could have done that better, because now it looks like... He, he was about to stab someone, you know? Like, you may say what you want, but I see only four You were correct, yeah, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our uh -huh. teachings that may have led not Revan to enough, choose the path she says. he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code. And lead Korea. all who listen to the dark side, right. as they did the exile. You are wrong. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. 
You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No what? good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? Those last few moments after my trial, I had no idea. If you find anything else, let me know. Atrus has a list of missing Jedi, sure, display it. Master Rook, then Twin. Master Zeskai Ona, Shadda. Master Kathak Onderan. Okay. I knew all those Jedi masters. A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. Hmm. We have no choice. Those Jedi know what happened to me. Oh, and there's the handmaiden. Those are Atrus's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. It is just me. And I am doing this because Atrus believes you will need help. I will take whatever Indeed. help I can get. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming <laughs> with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. <laughs> the cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. Watch I yourself. Will, if you need me, I shall be in the cargo hold. She has a Chani defense, which protects her against melee attacks and is an excellent unarmed fighter. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll. No, never mind. General, I'm not going to say that. Is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? Atrus and the Jedi took it from. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one if you wanted to, but you know that. Do you think I, I don't know, build General, one? but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Very well. To begin, there are some parts only. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Since when did you become an expert on lightsabers? I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. All right. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. <laughs> What's going on in here? I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. That sounds like a good, good. idea to me. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Has received a permanent 2% bonus to his constitution. Okay. Oh, I don't want to leave. 
Uh, let me see if we can build something. Create lightsaber. Create. Create and create. General? <sighs> really, you don't have to call me General. Sorry, guess I can't get my head out of the past. I was wondering what you've been doing since the war, Emma. I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. I'm sure you weren't the only soldier to and feel that way. And I don't think way. I'll be the last. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? Only two of them. Sure you do. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it, and deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It's good to have you around. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? Do you have? I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. <laughs> that seems a bit rash. I was only kidding. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malakor. I was lucky it was all I lost. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? No, you do. Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. Alright then. Let's speak with Kreia for a minute. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. As many as want to come with us and help us. It's not my fault if they follow me. Is it? Perhaps you are wrong. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. I'm the leader. No, perhaps not. Or perhaps you are different, something more. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? I've noticed the way she is changing. Ethan especially. The fool dances in your shadow for your favor. The woman, she worships you. The alien obeys you. Even within the machines, there are echoes. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. You have a point. I will reflect upon this. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Um, I've heard enough. Alright boys.
Let me speak with Adam. I don't know what it is, but you look different. It's hard to explain, but it's uh, it's good to see. I feel as if I'm more in touch with the Force than I ever have been. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. All right. So, guys, um, I'm gonna leave the episode here. I hope you guys liked it, and then from now on, I'll do. I do dark side it. So I'll put also I'll also put dark side, you know, in the title so you guys know that I'm doing a dark side title or version. So I hope you guys like it and goodbye.